Hey, so a little bit more about this Jack Magic Protection Spray. Um, you know, they want you to do two coats or multiple coats if you can. Just wait 15 minutes in between each application. Uh, there's basically these should last you six months to a year, which is just about how long the whole season is. So you can apply it before the season starts. Uh, and, and they say that it's like six months of daily use, you know, none of us really wear the same pair of shoes every day, you know, especially as shoe heads, we, you know, we rotate out different pairs. So if, if you're not wearing it every day, there's a chance that it might actually last the entire year. You may be able to get through two seasons, but it's definitely worth a shot, uh, giving it a test before you run out in, in like bad weather, inclement weather with, uh, without, but it's pretty good. The... The very important thing is that when you're applying it, you get a pretty even spray. You you really you rub it in with a clean brush. You make sure there's no imperfections, and uh, that's it. You know, so this Jack Magic spray, non-toxic, doesn't have a smell to it. Uh, it's pretty much a clear liquid. It's a little bit yellowish, but it's not too expensive. It's pretty much on par, and it's, it's uh, non-toxic, so it's friendlier for the environment. Let's say. The ingredients are this SiO2 and water, but it's made in Germany. A lot of good things come out of Germany. My car, specifically. Uh, but don't eat it. Keep it out of contact with your eyes. Keep it away from children. Uh, yeah, like they were saying, remove it from non-absorbent materials before they dry, like the metal buckles or uh, the welt. Along the welt here, you might want to make sure that you wipe it, you have something to wipe it with as you're applying uh, the, the spray. So if we were to go ahead and give this a spray, make sure you get nice even sprays throughout the shoe here. Get the tongue. That's why we remove the laces. The tongue is very important because depending on how the shoe fits you, the tongue might be exposed. You want to give, uh, you know, about six inches away from the shoe. See, this may be a little too wet here, so I'll blend that in there. And I can tell already, um, you know, some of the coloring may be coming off, and, and they do say that it could darken some of the suede. Make sure you test it. You know, if you care about the light color of the suede, if you have a light color suede, uh, make sure you test it in an indiscreet area. Some of the, my favorite indiscreet areas to test these suedes are like somewhere here on the tongue, somewhere here on the inside of the shoe. So if we were to kind of test it here, No one's really looking as much on the inside of the shoe here. I got it spraying all over the place. Work it in, make sure you get an even coating because that's going to be with the protective barrier. So if, if you have blotchiness, the blotchiness is going to create an opening uh, geez, for water to get in. So we'll get some of these extra hairs off here. And make sure we get this heel. It dries pretty quickly, even though I've been spraying like quite a lot. Yeah, these brushes are fantastic. I have a bunch of these. I have one for each color, one for each type of material, one for um, one for cleaning, stiffer ones for cleaning, darker ones. You know, I I, I tend to label them. It's a nice wood handle and 100% horsehair brush. The horsehair is great for all types of leathers. Uh, we have specific suede brushes for cleaning, but this is great for um, smooth leathers, full grain calfskins, and you know, especially for this situation here, when you're applying the suede protection, this is good. To give it a good nap on the suede here. 
make sure that it's all blended in perfectly. I like to use a clean brush every time, you never know. Um, that's why it's so important to label your brushes just so you know that you're using a clean brush or you're not you know, using a, a blue brush on your brand new cognac colored or honey colored sh dress shoes. Uh, that can be devastating. I know it's happened to some people before. So just be careful, don't, don't be scared, you know, when you're, so these are brand new, they have some type of uh, um, welt coloring, because they're rubber, so they want to kind of give it a black coloring, so there is some type of coloring coming off of the welt that's not the suede, that, that is from the sole. Um, but otherwise, these look fantastic, so these are, these are day-night soles on these Goodyear welted chukka boots. And we have our, you know, amazing case for gents insoles, a silver lined with impact absorbing materials. You know, so we we'll take a look here. You know, we have the bottomless layer at the bottom, the yellow impact absorbing foam, and uh, some the the silver woven fabric is bonded to a neo sponge, which is moisture wicking. It'll help dissipate the actual sweat from your feet. And underneath that, we have the an ins a, a leather insole on top of uh, molded hot cork. When they before they stitch the shoe, these the cork will you're gonna feel a bit of a bit of a tight a tight shoe feeling when you first wear them. But once they break in, the cork molds to your foot, and the cork will give you that kind of really just perfect made for you feeling. Uh, the shoes will just basically feel as though they were they were made for specifically you, um, your foot, and, and it'll it'll mold to the the exact shape of your foot. You know, everybody has different different size feet, different shaped feet, but we do our best to accommodate everybody with all these different sizes. Our Goodyear Welted collection goes up to size 17. When you make when you make them when you order them made to order, we can have them made all the way up to size 17 in half sizes and in regular width and wide width. So these are the wide width 11 and a half. Um, I normally wear a 10 and a half wide and uh, we typically tell people to size up one size, especially in American sizing, because these are European lasts. We get them made in Spain and these European lasts, they're just, you know, they're a little, they're a little different than our American feet. So here we, we typically find that most of our customers are happier when they size up a full size. So my 10 and a half wide for here, I have an 11 and a half wide and uh, these fit perfectly. They are going to be, I know, one of my favorite shoes this winter. Thanks for listening and I'll, I'll, we'll do some test videos once these are ready and dry.